Hey Super Moms, we are back. This is part four out of our five part saga, where we took a simple house and flipped it into an $83,000 jackpot. This episode is all about the sale listing and how we navigate through a pool of potential buyers. Are you ready? Because it's not all smooth selling. Before we jump in, let's jog our memory a bit. In the first part, we share how we met a real estate wizard, took us on a tour of the property, and secured a contract. In part two, we tore the closing process open and share with you our numbers and how we almost lost the deal because the seller changed their mind and luckily our persistence saved the deal. In part three, we took you on a deep dive into our renovation adventures and how we were able to turn a diamond in the rough into sparkling gem and share with you all the magic numbers that made it all work. And here we are, Super Moms, part four. The for sale side is about to go up, so exciting. But before we can let anyone come in, we have to make sure our house is ready for the big day. Just like that feeling when you're about to go on the first date with your loved one. Not only that we make sure that we look good, but we also smell good too. And that's what we are doing here. Remember Super Moms, we are going to bring back our property condition checklist in our previous video that we mentioned. Now we're gonna bring it back, just do one last final walkthrough and making sure that all the T are crossed and the I dotted before you send out your cleaning crew. So not only our cleaning crew would make sure everything is free of debris, the floor is so shiny, the counter is sparkle, they also added a touch of uh, citrus fragrance, our little secret. Citrus seemed to have a magic spell on the potential buyer. About staging, typically once we're done with cleaning, we'll stage the property and sometimes we go all out. Full furniture, beautiful decor, but on this research of this particular area, it showed that it appreciate a minimalist approach. So we only did a light staging or sometimes referred to as a micro staging, which means a few artworks on the wall uh, and decor in the kitchen and decor in the bathroom, floor mat and voila, the property is ready for a close up. And speaking of close up, never skim on photography. Your iPhone might be good for a quick selfie, but professional photography is like cherry on top of your real estate sundae. Professional photography can be very affordable. And let's just be honest, that's the first thing that people see before they even set a time to go take a look at your property. Now come the exciting part, listing your property on MLS, this platform will amplifies your listing, sending it out into the world like a beacon for buyers. Your listing may end up in multiple major platforms like Redfin, Zillow, Realtor.com, and Trulia, just to name a few. And remember our superhero agent, Trailblazer. We gave to him the honor of listing this property in respecting our agreement that we had at the beginning when he brought us this golden opportunity. So for those that are listening your property for sale by owner, don't underestimate the power of a great agent. A great agent is worth more than their weight in gold. Trailblazer was impressed of the transformation and got right to work. With all the photos in hand, our listen are ready to go. So what did our listen look like? Take a peek. So I'll probably hit the market at a price tag of 195,000 on a fine Wednesday morning. Then come the weight and gain. But not for long. On the first day of the market, it got seven viewing line up. And within the first week, we got more than 30 viewing result into more than 13 solid offers. We had a few more offers continues to come in after that, but we think we had 
a good amount of pull of offer to work with. That's not a bad position to be in, right? Time to talk about the offers. We have a range of offer from 182,000 to 215,000. You would think that we would jump up and down on the highest offer right away, right? What would you do? Put it in the comment. So what we ended up doing was we tear all the offer apart and take a look at all the detail that come in with the offer. What is the offer price, the down payment, the loan amount, the earnest money, who are the lenders, what are some contingency all the way down to the agent commission and then boil it down to conclude the offer that will net us the most. Want to know a little secret? So for those offers that we highly consider, we will reach out to all the lenders to gain their commitment level. After all, a higher offer does not mean much until it's closed. Finally, with Trailblazer Master Negotiating Skill, we accepted an offer. And here is the breakdown. Once again, we have blocked out all this sensitive information. And here is the sales contract. What we see here is the down payment of 30000 to be put down by the buyer. And they will be financing 170000 for the total sales of 200,000. The buyer will be delivering the earnest money of $2,000 to the title company. And sir, the survey will also be paid for by the buyer. So you can see it here. There is no termination period. While this was not the highest offer that we received, we believe that is our strongest offer is still $5,000 over asking. But that super moms is a story for another day. Be sure to come back and check the final part of the five part series where we review the closing process and some challenges that we face to get to the $83,000 in profit. If you find value in this video, do us a favor, hit that like, subscribe, and share to help this channel grow. Until then, stay super, super moms!